Hey guys, what's going on? Tool Cruise here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a first look and review of the Halo Perfree BC01 Bone Conduction Headphones. So for anyone who's new to this channel, my name is Cruz. I'm an American living in Vietnam, filming cycling videos together with my wife. And I've been a cyclist for over 15 years now, which is crazy to think about. And during that time, I never really used headphones during my rides. Of course, in my indoor cycling training, I love to listen to music, but I never used headphones out of my rides just because I always felt it was too dangerous. I liked being able to listen to my surroundings and I felt a lot more safe uh, because of that. But with bone conduction headphones, the situation changes completely. Normal headphones, they plug into your ears, they block all the other sound. But with bone conduction headphones, they sit on the outside of your ear. They're not blocking any sound coming in, so you can still hear all of your surroundings. And so I thought I'd give bone conduction headphones a try. Full disclosure though, this video is sponsored by Halo. They did send over this unit for us to review. I will still be giving my honest opinions though, the good and the bad. So let's go ahead and get started with the review. First, we'll open up the box, see what's inside, and then we'll be doing a ride test later, giving my honest impressions while we're out on the bike in a real world cycling environment. So here's the box and we can see some of the features here on the back side. So this is IP67 waterproof, which is really good here because it's crazy hot and humid in Vietnam. And I come back from all my rides drenched in sweat. So I don't have to worry about my headphones getting ruined from all the sweat and all the water. You get eight hours of battery life. And it actually also has a pretty fast charger in only about like 10 minutes of charging. It gives you a full two hours. So if you forget to charge it before your ride, you just need 10 minutes. And it does have dual device connection. So you can connect it up to two devices. We've got it connected to both our phones, my wife's phone and my phone. And you can also use it to make calls. So I've been out on bike rides with my wife calling me and it's really convenient being able to just answer on the headset without having to pull out my phone. So it does have a built-in microphone with noise cancellation. And let's open this up here. So this is the product. I actually have been using this for the last month or so, but I kept the box here. So this is what it looked like originally. And here are the headphones. They're really flexible, feels really solid. We've got the brand name here on the side, Halo. And we've also got three buttons. This is one button here on the left side. This is the play, stop button, answer call button. And you can also change the track forward. If you wanna move forward, you click it twice. If you wanna move back a track or re-listen to the same track, you click it three times. Uh, click it once to stop and once again to play. We've also got two more buttons here on the bottom of the left side. This is the plus and minus for the volume. And this is the magnetic piece for the charger. It is a custom piece charger though, so uh, make sure you don't lose that. And it just fits on your head, just like this. So really comfy. The other cool thing with this is it's super lightweight. It's only about 28 grams, so I barely feel it when it's on my head. Even for a long three hour ride, I barely notice it's there. Super comfortable. And let's take a look at some of the other accessories we've gotten here. So first is the USB magnetic charger. One side is the custom magnetic charger, which just automatically goes on like that. The other side is standard USB. It also comes with a pair of earphones. I wouldn't use these outside on a ride because this will block all sound. But if you're using these headphones indoors or in a cafe or something, these are really great because it blocks out all other sound. And then you can just focus on the sound coming from the headphones. So one disadvantage I've noticed with these headphones is if you're using them in a really noisy area, it is sometimes difficult to hear the actual music or whatever is playing from your headphones. So using those earphones will solve that problem. And we've got our standard user documentation and the quick start guide. Really easy to get started. You just press and long hold the plus button and it'll automatically turn on. You can see the light just turned on there. If you need to sync it, you hold it for even longer, about five seconds and it'll start blinking and go into pairing mode. All right, I think I've covered most of the important features about these headphones, the ones written on the box and in the spec charts anyway. Now the important part, we gotta go out for today's bike ride and give our impressions on the bike. How do these actually work in the real world situation? And we also need to get my wife's opinion. So let's ask Tuan Chan what she thinks. Okay, we found Tuan Chan. And I've been using these headphones for the last month, testing them out, but she hasn't used them yet. So this will be her first time trying out these headphones. Yeah. Yeah? Ready to give it a try? Yeah. 
Okay. Oh. Oh. How does it feel? Feel good. Comfy? Yeah. Heavy? No, heavy. Not Very heavy. lightweight? A little light. A little light? Yeah. Yeah. Heavy. Okay, so let's do the first listening test. I've got some music here and let's hit play, get her first impression. So, of course, we're not going to hear anything. Yeah. What do you think, Tun Chen? Does it sound good? Yes. Normal? I Fits can't with... hear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she can't hear me. Yeah, I can't hear you. Uh, the music sounds good, though? Yes. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, you can see the location of the headphones right here. They're sitting in front of the ear, they're not blocking the ear opening, so she should be able to hear everything normally, um, but still hear the music. And in a quiet environment, like our quiet apartment right now, this is gonna sound pretty good. But once we go out in the streets in Vietnam, the roads here are pretty chaotic, and Vietnam is famous for honking really loud sounds, so we're gonna see how these perform outside in that situation. Ah, Tun Chan's grooving. All right, let's go ahead and get out on today's ride before the sun sets. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are starting our ride. Toon Chan's got a brand new kit today. So give a thumbs up for Toon Chan's new hot pink, hot blue kit. And we're making our way out of the city right now. So this is a perfect example of a place I would not want to wear headphones while cycling. You can see that bike just passed us on the inside. There's a lot of traffic right now. There's a lot of people trying to cut across the street. You do not want to wear headphones in this kind of environment, be they normal headphones or bone conducting headphones. So the first important rule is always make sure you're in a safe environment to wear headphones. So for me, I would normally recommend only wearing headphones in a place with very little traffic, a place maybe with protected lanes so you don't have to worry about cars or people pulling in randomly. Um, the ideal locations would be a long climb. I tend to only use these headphones when I'm doing a long climb. We've got some awesome climbs here. We've got the High Van Pass. We've got Monkey Mountain. So for me, they're perfect for long climbs. Yeah, things are a little bit too chaotic right here. Let's check back in once we get a little bit outside of the city and a safer place to ride and talk. So things are starting to get a little bit safer as we make our way outside of the city. And we're gonna be heading towards one of my favorite places to train now, a nice road with little traffic so we can safely use our headphones there. One of the great things about listening to music while riding that I've really enjoyed this last month is I can focus on my workout. I can put on some great music that just puts me in a good rhythm so I can focus on my long hill climbs. That's one of my big goals right now is to improve my hill climbing ability. So being able to listen to music just really helps with that. The other great thing I've really enjoyed with using these headphones is on my easier rides, like today, I can listen to podcasts. I can listen to audiobooks. And when I'm doing like a long, kind of boring training ride, there's not too much to see. I'm just doing the same path over and over again. I'm spending a lot of time on the bike. It's really great being able to use that time to do something else productive. So I've really been enjoying listening to audiobooks and listening to some podcasts, being able to get that extra stimulation and put my mind to work while I'm also putting my body to work has been great. Over here, by the way, these are the Marble Mountains, one of the famous tourist attractions here in Da Nang. We've ridden by here a whole bunch of times, but we haven't actually gone inside here. I guess you can climb up it. There's maybe some caves inside, but it's still pretty cool to see. All right, here we are. We made it to one of my favorite training roads, a nice four lane, two lanes on each side road. So. We've got plenty of space here to keep to ourselves. We don't have any vendors or random people here on this side of the road, so we can ride here pretty safely, go up to some high speeds and listen to some music while riding. So this is a perfect place to do our test. And so I've got the headphones on right now. 
I'm actually listening to just a basic training workout I have and it's great I can hear it perfectly we're cruising at about 30 kilometers per hour I will say when I'm doing harder flat intervals so for example if I'm doing like an FTP test going pretty fast um, it might get difficult to hear the music if you crank it at full volume you can still kind of hear it but with all the wind sounds it does get difficult to hear if you're at speeds of like 40 50 kilometers per hour or about 30 miles per hour um, but luckily I can't do those efforts too long and most of my hard training now is done more on the mountains so my recommendations for places where it's really great is on the hill climbs because you're going at slower speeds you don't have to worry about the wind sound you can hear everything perfectly if I'm cruising at like really crazy high speeds on the flats or downhills I'll usually hit pause um, which is really easy it's just one tap with my left finger I can pause the music I do that just for safety reasons I like to be extra cautious when I'm going at high speeds on my bike just to be super attentive to everything that's going on I don't want to take any risks okay next we're gonna get Tunchan's opinion while riding so these are really great because you don't need to take off your helmet or anything you can just pop it on there we go looking good so we just turned on some music for her she's practicing with the buttons here on the right side we've got the the plus and minus to turn the volume up okay yeah easy can you hear okay now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So you got to be careful with the volume when you're in a quiet environment, like not moving right here. Mm -hmm. It'll sound really good. But once you start moving, picking up speed, you got the wind sounds, you got to plus the volume up. Oh, uh, Tunshan likes the music? Yeah. Okay, let's get going. Let's get our thoughts on the ride. Let's go. Let's continue. Can you hear the music okay? Yes. Yeah, you hear the traffic okay? Yes. Do you hear the music? Yes, I hear the music. So how's it like listening to music while cycling, Tun Chan? It's good. Good? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I like it. I'm going to go to the ride of the ride. I'm there. I'm going to go to the ride. You can still hear all the bikes, all the trucks? Yes, the traffic is still hearing. Oh, good. I'm going to hear the music. Yeah. Balance. Good balance. Yeah. So yeah, we're really excited about these headphones. I've always been hesitant to listen to music while cycling outside and these headphones seem to solve the problem of still being able to listen to your natural surroundings so it's a lot safer and yeah, just got to be careful about where you're using them. We're obviously not going to use them in the city center with heavy traffic but on a road like this, this time of day, there's barely any traffic so nice and safe. Overall, really solid impressions. I've been testing these out for a full month already and this is Chun Chan's first time using them but I think she really likes them so she's probably going to continue using them on the rides now. So overall, very excited to continue using these headphones on our rides. One last thing I did forget to mention was the price. So these headphones retail for about $80 but you can get them on sale sometimes for about $75 and that's half the price of some of their main competitors. Some of the other rivals for this headphone go for about $150, $180. And I've tested both and I haven't noticed any quality difference between them. I've been really happy with these so far, full month so far. And I've been drenching in sweat in the hot Vietnamese humid weather. And no problem, just rinse it off with some water after my ride. And they've been performing like a champ. So if you're interested in getting a pair for yourself, we'll leave a link down below in our video description. You can go check it out. Again, a big thank you to Halo for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, they make some pretty great headphones. That's going to be it for today's video. We'll see you next time here on Tivo Cruise. Bye-bye.